and we're back everyone to our let's play video series of Guild Wars. This time we're going to go to Old Mac and he ain't exactly under attack so this should be easier. So talk to him. Pitney sent you out here because he thought I was dead. Why that ugly son of a girl? He thinks he'll outlast me in this war, does he? Me and Joe here will show him. Lead the way back to Pike and let's prove him wrong. So now then, let's lead him back to Pike. We have to stay a ways away, so let us skip ahead. Okay, now then, we take Pitney close to it, but we don't go in or that would just fuck the crest up, so yeah. Now he says, you imagine he said tries, but uh, Pike and Square at last, you go tell Pitney that old Mac and Joe made it back safe and sound. So now then we go in here, and let's complete a bunch of crests. Which means a lot of reading. Yay. Reading. And probably take up most of the video too. Yay. Dr. Duke Bairden. Ah, uh, the dude's daughter. My poor Athena. I feel my heart will break. Thank you for telling me. I suppose I'm relieved to know the truth however painful it is. And we get 2,000 spirits. It's my place there for money. Yay. And here's the gifts of the crest of Athena's ashes. I've been thinking about the story you told me of my daughter's ghost. I fear she cannot rest until her ashes are recovered and properly interred. Please go to the flame tomb for a corridor and give her Athena's ashes. Bring them back to me so I can lay her to rest. You have my gratitude. Technically, some people will complete that crest by selling the ashes. Shit, which no one's actually doing at the moment, so, wow. Well, I ain't gonna do that anyway, I'll do that trip crest. Anyway, fires in the north. Good job, if each other after we extinguish makes a difference. Once again, the uh, army cowers behind the safety of the wall. While we score more victories for Ascalon, we're going to win this war, even if the Vanguard have to do it on their own. Yay, more experience. And by breaking the siege, you have helped to turn the tide in our favor. Thanks to your efforts, Pike and Square is secure. We'll establish a base here and launch raids deep into enemy territory. The child will be sorry they ever laid eyes on the Great Wall. And hammer and info. My troops are moving to sweep in behind the char warp and land led by Grim Shortfang. If all goes accordingly to the battle plan, the char will be driven up toward the tar pits. I need a group of stout fires to sweep down from the north and help my troops pin them against the tar pits. When you have them trapped, I want you to crush them as between a hammer and an anvil. If you did, sure. Is I didn't sadly read it. Oh well. He's alive. I knew he was tough, but to last out there by himself, well, I suppose he had that creepy pet of his to help him survive. He's never going to let me hear the end of this. Still, it'll be good to have him back. I can't thank you enough, and Christopher Vader. Oh, you're great to ask a lot. That I am. That I am. And now I ain't gonna use any of those, but they're decent. If I was to end it, axes or hammers, but yeah. Got to eye for now. Well done, that should slow down the char and buy us time to bring our in reinforcements of our own. You really make a name for yourself among the Vanguard and Christopher Vader. Oh. Hey, more that's very sad. Skills. So now then, let's level up. Let's order the ship up again. And now then, let's with of these. Well, that one anyway, and maybe that one. So yeah, let's poof ahead to that. Okay, here we are, the hammer and anvil crest. All we basically have to do is... Take out Take out him. And apparently his forces are supposed to help us, but they won't arrive at all. Because, yeah, here we come in. And we basically straight to death. And we're all in these forces. And I'm here at one.
So we basically have to take it down all. Its forces are supposed to be right now, but I have no idea what it is. Those two are like two frickin' lab. They all come to hide him. Honestly. And that just Well, we'll skip ahead to get the, to the Venus Ashes part. Yay. So, poof. And we're back to this part. Heaven sounds like that, yeah, but we're getting close. As you get watch me walk through time. Well, I basically think about that. I'm actually surprised it took me this long to realize the potential just skipping the parts of interest. I just saved quite a lot of time than just watching me walk around like this. But I guess I couldn't have done it like that anyway because in the earlier vids I was using a different recording method anyway. Now I could basically just cut into parts and add them all together, which is quite useful. So yes, let's go in here. And we're in the Flame Temple Corridor. Which is quite long and full of char. But yeah, we get these guys who actually help us for the first part. So yeah. I'll skip ahead to at the ashes part. Well, working with these ashes strikers to clean out these trucks. This place is a wall. It makes it a good place to have a farm trip. Like holidays and such, we use that. But yeah. Almost to the Athena part. Which is up there. So we're we'll just going to head to that part. Alright, now that we're basically going to be sieging this place. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Not as much as I thought. But still, I don't know what I'm doing. This is going to be a tad difficult. So, hopefully, we can try. Hopefully. Okay, heading up. Ah, uh, for a few minutes. So we'll be getting out of here and skipping ahead to the part where we actually give the things, well, back to Pike and Square and such. Yeah.
And we're back everyone to my let's play of Guild Wars. We got the quest done, so let us basically talk to Duke Baldwin. Uh, hammer and apple. My troops couldn't have destroyed Grim Sharpfang and its warband without you. Once again, you've made the Vanguard proud. All experience. And Athena's ashes, you have put this father's heart at ease, I thank you. And now for 2,000 spirits. I want to watch this for 10. I want to see him. I didn't notice this before. My last time out, I nearly slew this bloated coward of a jar, Goff as Bloodfang. Bloodfang and his forces fled northwest into the Diasa Lowlands. And why did you give me the crest? Oh, you're damn it all. Oh well, the Duke won't let me lead a group after him, says it's not strategic. Well, I've never known the Duke to be wrong about a thing like that, but if you were to hunt down that fur rap for me, I'd do my best to see to it that you were duly rewarded. Or darling, whatever. You said I'm dead already. So, might as well skip to that part. And here we are to take out Garfield's part. Then, I've taken a great large area. So, we should be able to do that. And then head back. Oh, we just head back. And then back to fight this ground. And wait for it to load. There we go, over here to Veg 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 Yeah. So you gotta go off as eh? I want to hear all the gory details. Now actually forget, I'd rather keep the image that's in my mind now. The other thing might not be as good, right? Yeah. So now we're left for ten. It's been points. Yeah. Uh, Survivor up a tad. And yeah. Till next time. I hope you all enjoy this. Thank you all. And have a nice day.